So if you're a student and need a way to keep track of all your assignments, then this is for you. I'm going to show you how to make an assignment tracker in Google Sheets all the way from scratch. And once you're finished, you'll be able to log the due dates and descriptions for all assignments, organize them by class and category, and track your progress as you complete each one. Plus, this is a quick and easy build. That said, let's go ahead and get started. Beginning with a blank Google Sheets spreadsheet, start by selecting columns F through Z, then right click and delete the columns. Next, click here in this box, which is called the name box. Type in 16 colon 1000 and press enter. This will select rows 16 through 1000 and you can delete them by right clicking on the row headers and delete. Awesome. Now select rows one through 15, right click, resize rows, set the height to 40 and click okay. Then select columns D and E, right click, resize column, set the size to 150 and click okay. Select column C, right click, resize column, set the size to 200, click OK. Select column B, right click, resize column, set the size to 125, and click OK. Next, select cell A2 and type in status, then due date, assignment, class, and category. Awesome. We can now turn off the grid lines by going to view, show, and uncheck grid lines. After that, click here to select all cells, change the horizontal alignment to center, and change the vertical alignment to middle. Then select row one, click the fill color button here, select light gray, Select row two, fill color, light blue, and bold the font. Nice. At this point, go ahead and type in some sample data like so. This is going to help us validate some of the features that we add later on. And once you've added some sample data, select column B, click the more formats button here, and select custom date and time. From here, you can select a date format that you like, or you can build your own. To do that, clear everything that you see in the box on top, then use the down arrow to add different date components. Personally, I like to have the month abbreviation, a space, the day number with a leading zero, comma, space, and then the full year. Either way, once you have the format that you want, click Apply. Now for the status column, select A3 through A15 and go to Insert, Checkbox. This makes it easy to mark assignments complete whenever you finish them. All right, the class column is next. We're going to add drop-down menus that are gonna make it super easy to assign classes to each assignment. To do so, select D3 through D15 and go to Data, Data Validation. Click on Add Rule, then make sure that the criteria is set to dropdown. And from here, you can type in all of the different classes that you're taking, and you can add as many as you want. And once you've added your classes, you can also assign a specific color to each one. Just click on the gray circle by each class name and choose the color that you want for each class. After you have it set up the way you want, you can click on Done and easily assign classes to each assignment. Okie dokie, now for the Category column. Just like before, select E3 through E15 and go to Data, Data Validation. Click on Add Rule and make sure that the criteria is set to drop down. Type in the different categories that you want to work with, 
and also assign colors of your choice. And of course, once you're finished, click on Done. Then close the panel on the right. Sweet. Now we're going to add some conditional formatting that will automatically gray out any assignments that you've completed. Select A3 through C15 and go to Format, Conditional Formatting. Under Format Cells If, select Custom Formula Is, and in the box below, type in equals dollar sign A3. We use A3 here because this is the address of the top cell containing a checkbox. And since we're always checking column A for all three columns, we add a dollar sign in front of the A. After that, set the fill color to none, set the font color to gray, click done and close the panel. Now all completed tasks will be grayed out like this. Fantastic. Up next we're going to add a progress bar on top. Start by selecting A1 through E1, then click this button to merge the cells into one. Then in the formula bar type in the following equals sparkline function count if function a3 colon a comma true close parentheses forward slash count a function c3 colon c close parentheses comma open bracket quote, chart type, quote, comma, quote, bar, quote, semicolon, quote, max, quote, comma, one, semicolon, quote, color one, quote, comma, quote, green, quote, close bracket, close parentheses, and press enter. Now, if you are located in a country that uses a comma to separate decimals, for example, 2.5 euros, then your formula syntax will look like this instead. Just something to be aware of. Either way, this formula uses the count if function to count how many checkboxes are checked, and then it divides this number by the number of assignments. This generates a percentage, which is passed to the sparkline function, and this function creates the green bar that you see on top. And if you don't like the color green, you can always change the color to something else like blue or purple. Now, for the finishing touch to this spreadsheet, you can add in a filter to help you sort and organize your assignments. Just select A2 through E15, and then go to Data, Create a Filter. You can now use the filter buttons to sort, filter, and organize your data accordingly. And if you ever need to add space for more assignments, just select a number of rows in the middle, right click, and insert. That's all there is to it. Well, I hope you enjoyed building this assignment tracker in Google Sheets, and leave me a comment with any questions or thoughts you might have. Oh, and also, don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon in the next Spreadsheet Life video. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me.